Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Will the Collector not back here with another video review? Well, kind of. This morning, I'm going to do a build. And what am I going to do a build of? Well, back in November, I uh, went down to Galveston, Texas, down to the beach. Nice beach house. Had a good week away. It was very relaxing. Uh, um, we went into Galveston a couple times. We were actually staying in Crystal Beach, which was across the uh, water from Galveston. But we went in there a couple times, and I happened to come across this yeah, like an old-fashioned toy store. It had blind bags of newer stuff, but it had older toys and just a hodgepodge of different things. And stuff like that just really intrigued me. What really caught my eye were these. And this is a U-Gears Mechanical Models Steampunk Clock. Now, if you'd like, you go to their ugearsmodels.com. You can get these things on Amazon. That I know of. I haven't gone looking around to other websites like Target or Walmart, but I saw these and they just intrigued the crap out of me. I really love building stuff. I love building Legos. Um, I like stuff that just is just different. And I felt like this definitely fits that mold. Is it toy? Is it action figure related? No. Is it a toy? Kind of. It's a puzzle. It's something that, you know, kind of, kind of gets your brain going, I think. So I was just very intrigued, so I snagged one of these. Um, because I snagged this set, my wife had got me a Marble Maze um, one of these for Christmas this year, and I wanted to do a build on that, but I wanted to knock this out first because I got this a while ago, so here we go. Uh, and I got it for about $13, and it's a steampunk, steampunk clock, and it just comes packaged up like this. And they're really pretty cheap, and they're just wooden wooden kits so i don't know whether this is going to be fun or not or i'm going to break everything in this thing but i guess you'll know when i post the video <laughs> oh wow the instructions are right there holy cannoli as you can see there they are you set those down there and you get two wooden planks and these are laser cut if i'm not mistaken well, I have no idea what that is. But I mean you can just see as my as my hand goes through these things. They're just cut all the way through. And just like I said, just stuff like this intrigues me. But I guess this is panel one. I have no idea what that means. And this is obviously panel two. Oh, okay. So they're they're cut all the way through. I mean, just look how precise this is. That's what blows me away. I may not be a custom figure guy or anything like that. Not, not that I don't appreciate them. I can't make them. But just the what goes into doing stuff like this just knocks it out of the park for me. But anyways, here we go. Um, let's see. I guess piece one, which is each one of these pieces are number one, two. Um, we got other pieces, three. Uh, there's a three also. I guess these all can be three. Uh, yep, all three of those three pieces. So let's see how easy this is. It's a little flexible, got a little bit of give to it. So you probably want to gently go around and just kind of pop them out. And there you go. That was piece one. A little bit of... Uh, it's not. F I have flashing. Can you say flashing when you when they cut through like that? You probably get some files or a nail file and just kind of trim around there, but that's not bad. Okay. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. That middle piece got to pop out because that's, I guess, piece number four. Oh, so they're making use of a lot of the space here. So, like a sprue kit, these are just you know nicely put in there. And as I get closer to needing piece four, I know I'm gonna have to pop this out the center here. So again, just, you know, go around it, apply little bits of pressure until you get the sucker knocked out. Oh, I want to be careful because I know this is probably all compressed wood. I wouldn't say, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really, I'm a little worried just for the fact I don't want stuff to flake off. But I'm going to kind of leave that there. Or in there, so I know that's piece number four. So I'm not looking around like a like a noob going, where did that piece go? Okay, so we got 
piece number two, which has another four piece in the center of it. So they're making use of their space here, which is cool. Okay, so just nice and neatly pop that out. So I got piece one and piece two, and then just gently popping out piece four. Okay, I don't know if we'll use these again later, but they look like they're open. So I'm just going to set these over here. And hopefully this all turns out very well. And then we need, it looks like, step one. And then we're going to need these three pieces. Oh, this is what's got me worried, folks, because these are really kind of sunk in there a little bit, but not too bad. I don't want to compromise these pieces and maybe the more of these I do the easier it'll be now I haven't gone to look on YouTube videos to see if anybody else has done these if you have and I'm just totally not doing this stuff right you know this was just something I picked up at the store and I was intrigued by it up oh, as my dogs go ape crazy because somebody's probably delivering something let's see He's kind of going sideways. Oh, good lord. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, folks. That is uh that is a little nerve-wracking. Wow. It's like opening up a NECA figure. <laughs> Sorry, NECA. Oh, oh, good lord. But they go down there certain ways. And I believe, yeah, we gotta set these things in kind of sideways. Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right because I'd hate to have to back these things out. If you just, you know, go gentle with it. Yeah, definitely on the next one. I'd want to maybe put some, get some uh, stuff and kind of clean up some of the little ends there. That trim. So this should line up. You don't want to, okay, there we go, there we go, just take it a little by little, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, all right, see, I told you. I was probably going to go too fast on this stuff. I'll back this out. See, I rushed. And I wasn't paying attention to the instructions. These things were supposed to go in first to create a nice base. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. A little bit forgiving. Back in it. All right, here we go. Okay, again, because these were supposed to go through. I want to flip this back around. All right. Hopefully I didn't chew up too much time. Do it once. There we go. Oof. Be rough on the tips of the, of the fingers. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's a bummer having arthritis at 40, though. Use my table to my advantage. Oh, my lanta. 
Okay. Oh, all right. Let's see. There we go. All right. Here's a little bit of levered. All right. So <laughs> there we go. We're 10 minutes in. We're already there. Let's see. We got to take the gears from four. And it shows to slide them in like that. Nope, nope, nope. In the center. Okay. Because that's a little misleading. Because the way it shows... On the instructions, it's not fully up through the center, so we're going to put them like that, actually, because the gear's in front. They want them here on the side, so we'll do that. All right. Set that off to the side. And then you go down to step three, which is piece five and six. So we're going to find five and six. Here is five. Which, again, I think it shows caution just because it looks like it's a little bit of a thinner piece. And we got piece six. Which, you know, these, these kind of come out pretty, pretty, pretty quickly, pretty easily. Which is good. All right, so I'm just double checking. All right, and it shows a caution right there. That tells me caution. Or, hey, knucklehead, look at this. That's going to go above that U-Gears logo. So that tells me everything kind of lines up. Ooh. As cool as this is, it is a little nerve-wracking for the fact that you're you're popping these things down on top of here. It's going together pretty nicely, I'd like to say. You know, so far that's what I got.
Oh, well, <laughs> not exactly the most precise thing. Um, you know, and it's definitely, there's not a motor here. Um, just trying to think of what eventually you could attach this, but you know, this could not be probably running around the clock. Uh, I don't know why I'm not getting past three here, but there it is. Let's look more later. You know, see if there's some clearance issues. Maybe I can pull some spacing out. But that has been this steampunk clock by U Gears. Again, if you uh, go to UGearsmodels.com, again, I can find these on Amazon. Hopefully, this hasn't been too bad and y'all have enjoyed it. Uh, again, my producer will probably speed this up to help for this thing along. But this was really fun. I really enjoyed this. Um, you know, uh, very fun build. If I. I just can't get past that three. I don't know why. You know, stuff's probably in here just a smidge too tight. But I'll get there. As you can see, you know, there's... just looks ornate all the way around. Anyways, I have been Will the Collector. Again, if you like this video, go ahead and hit a like button. If you can do so and be so nice, go ahead and subscribe to me and share and tell your friends. I have been Will the Collector. Once again, take care of one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.